Hi people, Nightwatch back again. I see um, this AFL nude uh, photographs and sex scandal it just seems to be getting uh, more and more involved every other week. I see now there's a um, player manager, an AFL player manager, uh, allegedly to have stayed at this uh, young girl's place or this hotel that um, the football club is paying for or the uh, newspaper's paying for, one of the two. Um, and she's saying that they've been having an affair. The song in the background is probably pretty appropriate for this uh, for the situation. It's a song I wrote called uh, I Like Sex in the Morning. <laughs> Unbelievable. This guy's uh, allegedly uh, saying that um, she downloaded uh, private videos and audio uh, from his mobile phone, allegedly used his credit card. But what's she doing with his phone? Or his credit card. Now he's saying that he went to uh, help her out or something. He's admitted he's taking uh, alcohol to the hotel room. <sighs> Sounds a little bit to me like his name is uh, Ricky Nixon or something. I'm just wondering whether he's related to uh, President Nixon. Uh, or uh, Clinton from America. If you remember the Watergate affair and uh, the Sheila that uh, Clinton was uh, mucking around with, Skilinski or whatever her name was, oh, I can't remember what it was, something like that anyway. Yeah? I did not have sex with that woman. Nixon. Uh, just denied everything until uh, it was proven that uh, he was behind Watergate. <sighs> this young girl is uh, unbelievable. I mean, she must be pretty good at what she does for these uh, people to be getting involved with it. And we all know what uh, happened with the uh, nude photograph scandal and uh, allegations of uh, sexual misconduct. And now, uh, apparently this guy's, uh, well, appears so. I mean, like I said, how did she get hold of his phone and could uh, download video and audio of it? Or if uh, is what he's saying is right about his credit card, how did she get hold of that? I mean, People must think that everybody are thick as bricks. Whether it's the girl putting out this uh, this uh, these allegations that um, they were having an affair, and he's uh, saying that you know she's been downloading stuff off his phone. And, all that, I mean, trust the money. I, I was saying video after video, people open your eyes and, and, and have a look and see what's happening. Or, you know, try and work out what's happening. I mean, the media um, boosts things up to, uh, to basically um, sell papers, put the news out. And, uh, you know, they'll do anything to uh, get a sale. But these, um, this is just unbelievable. Like I said, this young girl must be uh, incredible in what she gets up to for these people to be involved with. I mean, who the hell is she going to attack next? Or who the hell is she going to be involved with next? This is another song I wrote. Can't beat love in the morning. Hmm. 
Unbelievable. Who knows where it's going to end? It sells uh, newspapers and uh, and um, gets everybody talking about it, but uh, it's not doing anything for the AFL. I mean, uh, you know, she'll be attacking uh, I don't know the bosses. What's his name, Dimitri or whatever the hell his name is? She'll probably try and latch onto him next. A nightmare. But these uh, St Kilda players have been involved in stuff uh, in New Zealand. I mean, they can't, they just seem to, can't go anywhere without uh, stuff happening. Like I mentioned uh, in the videos about the nude photograph things, you know, the AFL needs to tighten right up and bloody sort, them, sort this stuff out. I mean, this is bloody just crazy. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, how much is it costing... Uh, the people that are paying for a hotel or accommodation a week. You know, there'd be food and everything else that goes along with it. Unbelievable. Never mind. We'll see what happens in the next week or so. It'll um, be pretty good. Like I said, the song that's playing now I wrote as well. Can't be love in the morning. Good for you. Get your heart pumping. Night boys, catch you later.